President Trump met with Singapore's president ahead of his one on one with North Korean dictator Kim Jong un. My friend, and, uh, I've got a very interesting meeting in particular tomorrow. And I think things can look up very nice. Meanwhile, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo carried out last minute preps with North Korean officials to lay the groundwork for the Trump Kim meeting. President Trump is going into this meeting with confidence, a positive attitude, and eagerness for real. Progress. Secretary Pompeo said the president's goal for the meeting has always been the same. He has made it clear that if Kim Jong un denuclearizes, there is a brighter future for North Korea. Tomorrow, we will get our clearest indication to date of whether Chairman Kim Jong un truly shares this vision. In exchange for denuclearization, North Korea will be looking for significant concessions from the U.S., something President Trump may be open to. I think Trump is going with no preconditions whatsoever, so it would include uh, significant economic benefits, uh, a declaration of the end of the Korean War. We've already heard about the potential of the U.S. putting an embassy uh, in Pyongyang. Secretary Pompeo sidestepped when asked if the U.S. would be willing to pull its troops out of South Korea. We are prepared to take what will be uh, security assurances that are different, unique, than have been provided, that America has been willing to provide previously. We think this is both necessary and appropriate. The president and Kim Jong-un will start the meeting talking alone with only their translators in the room. Nikki Batiste, CBS News, the White House.